Hi, in this video we're going to look a little bit more at tables and we're going to look at how to use the col span and row span properties uh, in CSS to uh, modify this table from the previous tutorial a little bit. So um, two things that I'd like to show is uh, firstly this caption that we've got up the top here, Top Selling Games March 2020. We'll look at a way um, that we can move that into the table and have it as a heading that's spread across multiple cells or columns actually. So it's going to spread across like a top row across three three columns or three cells uh, in different columns. Okay, so we'll look at that. Um, that's a, a row, sp a column span, sorry, a column span where uh, data is spanning across multiple columns. And then we'll look at row span where we'll have this um, uh, heading or caption going down the side in another column uh, but occupying multiple rows. All right, now this doesn't just need to be for a heading. It can be uh, any of the data in this table we can have occupying multiple cells. So let's go back and have a look at the code. This is from the previous tutorial. So um, I'm not going to go through all this code now. Watch the previous tutorial if you need to. But um, we're going to uh, look at two examples, uh, one of col span and one of row span. Okay, so firstly, let's have a look at how to um, use the row span. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the first table row where we have rank, title and developer. All right, and I'm going to take this caption. I'll delete the caption, this caption here, and I'm going to uh, I'll copy this text, though. I'll copy that and delete the caption. And in this first table row where we have our table headings, rank, title, and publisher, I'm going to add a new table data tag or TD tag. All right. And then I'll paste in there uh, what I want to display. So if I save that and go back, uh, that's what it's going to look like. All right. Now, that's not what I want. I don't want it uh, pushing these three cells across because now we've got publisher over here hanging off the edge. So what I'm going to do is add a, a row span property. So row span equals. And what I want to do is make this uh, sit on the left side of the table, but occupy all of the, the rows. So if we have a look at how many rows there are, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to need to say row span equals six so that it spans three rows. We'll save that code and go back and there we go so that's that's using uh, row span where we have our um, table data here occupying multiple rows It's occupying six rows so it's, it's basically got its own uh, entire column all right now we'll look at how to change that so instead of having it down the side occupying a whole heap of rows we're going to have this up the top occupying a whole heap of columns so we'll go back and I'll delete this one here. And what we'll need to do instead is add a, uh, another row. All right, so we've got currently our table and then we've got our table row here for rank, title and publisher contained in that. But we're going to add a whole new row. All right, and in this row, we'll use the TD or table data tag again, and I'll just paste in that top selling games, March 2020. And instead of adding a row span, this time we'll go col span. Oops. And this is going to need, to, uh, it'll need to occupy three columns. We've got three columns in the table, so this is going to spread across three columns. All right, and that's it. Save, refresh. And now that we have it, we have a heading occupying three columns uh, of this row. All right, we could change it to two if we wanted to do that. And now you can see it's just occupying two columns and now we have an empty one over here, but we need to occupy three. Okay, so it's basically it. Now um, we can do that anywhere in the table. As I said, it doesn't need to be headings. For example, if we wanted uh, Resident Evil to occupy two columns we could do that all right so we could go down to wherever that is resident evil we could say col span 
equals two. Now what this will do is occupy two columns, but then if we refresh the page, we see that Capcom USA, is, the publisher, is pushed off the edge. If we deleted that one, that table data, then this will still be occupying two columns. Uh, we won't have anything hanging off the edge there. Anyway, I'll undo that, but we, as I said, we can do that anywhere in the table. We can occupy, uh, have a um, some table data occupying multiple rows or multiple columns. You just need to make sure that um, you've added up however many columns or rows there are so that there's nothing hanging off the edge that looks out of place. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.